Yo, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Oscar Antege again with yet another amazing tutorial. In our last tutorial, we did, we taught, we learned how to edit lips and lipstick and making them perfect. In this particular one, we are going to learn how to do skin color grading. However, before we begin, there is a big difference between color correction and color grading. Now, here is the difference. Color grading it is much more of uh, an artistic preference that is backed with emotion and how you feel about an image and how the particular feel you want an image to have. While color correction is about making the image close to naturality as possible. What we're going to do in this particular image, we are just, we are going to do a glam kind of color grade. You know, it is not going to be too close to natural and it is not going to be overly color graded deviating away from natural so it's going to be right in between there i have lots of people asking me how in heaven i color grade my images and how i make them really pop this tutorial is all about that and if you're wondering how i did the skin retouching please click the link in the description up there and watch my video explaining how I do my frequency separation and how I do all the skin retouching and the like. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Now, this is the image we are going to color grade. In this particular image, we are going to color grade using adjustment layers. That is what we are going to use to do this particular color grading. So, first things first. In this particular color grading, we are going to use gradient map first. So you come here and say gradient map. And what you're going to do, what you're doing here, it is much more of like what they call a split tone, whereby you give the shadows a different kind of feel and give the highlights a different kind of feel. What we want is to have our highlights a bit warm and have our shadows a bit cool. So this is what we're going to do. You come here, click over there. And then onto this side, you come and choose, a, you change the color. This is the shadow area and this is the shadow, the highlight side. So in the shadow area, you come and choose like, I usually have to, I, I usually love choosing this kind of dark cyan, like here. It really doesn't have to be perfect. This is a question of test, you know, because remember, we are just color grading. We are not doing color correction. Yes. Then we come also to the highlight here. Not usually for the highlights. I usually turn this to web and then just come and click over the red zone and just come and find something a bit bright right there. And then I just say, Okay, usually, so now when you look at this, I have the shadows in that kind of dark blue turquoise kind of color. And I have these in like an, a baby kind of pink, you know, feel. So you just come and say here, okay. And then what you do, you come and change the blending mode here to, to color so that you bring in more contrast to avoid having that kind of, uh, color cast on top of it the, the color blending mode just helps you create like contrast so that thus the gradient appears as if it is right on top of the skin so we are going to come and reduce the opacity so that we don't have it overly shining onto the image 10 is good in between 8 and 10 that is really really nice i don't know whether you guys are able to see the difference on the screen here but that is the before and that is the after before and after so the next thing we're going to do after getting a gradient map we're going to come here and now work on what we call the skin tones using selective color selective color here you make sure it is the red that is selected for skin tones because most of the skin tones are in the ranges of orange reds and yellows so usually I work with the skin tones on the using the red channel and then you come here cyan usually I want to have a little bit of less cyan you know 
and then I come here and reduce the magenta a bit. Since I've reduced the cyan here, I usually want to do the opposite by reducing the magenta. So I just come and, you know, reduce the cyan to negative 15. Because when you reduce the cyan, it's an indication that red is going to be more. Because the opposite of red, yeah, is cyan, and the opposite uh, of magenta is blue. These are things you really have to learn. I won't go into details. There are many, many YouTube tutorials that explain this kind of light color wheel. So if, if I went this way, you see more red comes in. If I went this way, you have more cyan, more of those kind of colors. So this is a question of test. So since we want them pop, I'll just have to come and put it at 13. And magenta, I don't want a lot of magenta. So I'm just going to come and just still dial it down just a little bit like at around eight yeah that is the only knob i touch maybe if i want to have this white i could just come here in the whites which is not even white and just do something over it maybe just add in a little bit of you know uh, let us just look at this court here you know, um, this is just something I was just working on skin tones, but since she's putting on a white fur jacket, if I want to make it whiter, I could just come here and just remove the reds right here and there. You know, I come into the yellow. When you look at this yellow here in the white zone, you, you may want to come and, you know, just adjust it from there basically this is where you adjust most of the things in an image most of the colors in an image individually but you have to have an understanding of what color is opposite what in order for you to learn how to use this particular thing then that is done the next thing we do after that is we're going to now use the curves adjustment layer and then right there so what we are going to do this is we're going to pump the shadows down just right there so that we get the skin tones really looking looking uh, golden like a bronze kind of feel and then you raise the highlights to give the skin more glow you know the other thing we are going to do is just come here at the rgb here in the drop down menu and we look at the blue you know, because remember, we are working with skin tones. So we're just going to use the blue filter here and then pull the blue filter and then just try to raise the blue highlights and then come here and pull the skin tones down. Not overly much, but just slightly down like that. And then, boom, the next thing we are going so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to now use levels a little bit and then just come here and then push this, the middle icon at the back and bring the shadows right up, not so much in and then take this back. The, this why I first pushed this back is it gives me a measurement of how far I can really crush the shadows. So. I just come here and see you make sure you don't you put their levels in a way that you don't lose out on the details of the hair some people do it overly much in a way that it becomes that dark that that really doesn't look good but depending you may it may be an effect you really really want but what i usually do is i just just a little bit little bit of it and then take it back to the center where i found it back then the next thing we do is just add in a little bit of pop and vibrancy. You come here at the vibrancy adjustment layer and then just say vibrancy, just like that. And a little bit of saturation just there. Because I usually love, this is now something you may choose to do this all not, but this is where it's usually all and and then let us just put this in a group so that you guys are able to see the before and after 
that is the before and that is the after before and after and that's that about this tutorial i hope to see you guys in my next tutorial and remember to subscribe to this channel leave a comment and tell me what else you would want me to teach you as far as beauty retouching is concerned and general photoshop i hope to see you guys and adios